and welcome to the Peer Masters House of the Albert Dock, otherwise known as Number 9 Albert Dock Parade. Now the room that you're in at this present moment is called the parlour. Now this is the best room in the house that would only be used on special occasions, such as the likes of birthdays, holidays, Sunday, and it's probably Christmas Day. Right? But the Peer Master himself, who actually lived in this house, had a very, very important job. I'd like to briefly explain what it was. Now the Peer Master must have been a seaman who had been away at sea for at least eight years. After he came ashore, he would then apply for the Mersey Docks and Harbour Company for a job working on the docks. He would start off as a gateman. Now the gateman, they would look after the gates and the bridges which cover all of the docks on this side of the river. They would open and close them. After that, he would become a head gateman, moving up the ladder. And then he would become a pier master. Now this house was given to him by the Mersey Docks and Harbour Company. The colours that you can see around me are actually painted by the Mersey Docks and Harbour Company. The pier master never chose them. Now his job was to make sure that all the ships came in from the River Mersey into these docks at the correct time. Now the tide in Liverpool comes in and comes out. Now the ships can only come in at high water. Now there could be a 30 foot difference between the level of the docks and the level of the river. So you have to wait for high tide. Now when the tide comes in, right, the pier master would be on duty four hours before high water to four hours after high water. Now in Liverpool, high tide comes 50 minutes later every day. So for example, say the tide today is 12 o'clock noon. Well, tomorrow it will be 10 to 1, the following day 20 to 2. Now that meant that the pier master could be in call at 4 o'clock in the afternoon or 4 o'clock in the morning. That's why he lived here. As you can imagine, the German Luftwaffe, they targeted Liverpool in a big way. So the idea was to make Liverpool as safe as possible. Now one thing they actually did do was put in place what was called a blackout. Now, for those of you who may not remember this, the idea was that the curtains would be closed at a certain time during the day, and this would stop any light escaping from the windows. So as you can see now, during the daytime, there was plenty of light coming through into the room, but now at nighttime, no light will escape from this room into the sky. 